there, my name is Ina DeVete, and I'm the mayor of Middlesex Center. I'm very happy that you've been able to join me today. Uh, the story that I've chosen to read is called Love. The book is written by Stacy McNulty. The illustrations are by Joanne Lou Virthoff. And the book is being used with permission from Running Press Kids Hatchet Book Group in New York, New York, in the USA. So let's get started. This is Love by Stacey McAlty. It says here that love is more than paper hearts, chocolates, and flowers. Love is a gift that cannot be wrapped. So here we have a family busy in the kitchen. Looks like they're cooking up a storm. What does dad have here? He's got a pot that's boiling over. It's got great sauce. It looks like tomato sauce. This little girl's baking and she's got eggs and batter. This little fellow's busy with tomatoes and arranging meat on top. This fellow has, oh, I don't know, dozens of, of cupcakes and he's putting them on a cake stand to display. And this girl is busy rolling out a pie. She's got one done and another one in the works. Mom's popping them into the oven. Everyone's there, even the family cat and Sam the dog. I think they'd forgotten about Sam, don't you? He looks like he's ready for his dinner and no one is even looking at him. So love is a fancy dinner. Oh, oh my goodness. Someone had to bring Sam his dinner with a little flower in it because it looks like Sam has hurt his foot. And somebody's put hearts on his bandages just like you would if you were drawing on your friend's cast at school. Love needs special presents. This little girl's visiting her sister in the hospital and brought some flowers to put on her head. This little boy has a wagon full of books and it looks like he's giving them out to his friends. This little girl's gone to visit her grandma and brought her some special treats, treats of hearts on them as well. And this young man has drawn a picture for his teacher. She's smiling and he's happy to be giving her a gift. And look, both grandma and the little girl are smiling. Everyone's happy because they're getting presents from somebody they really care about and love. Look at this young artist. He's busy at his desk. He's drawing cards, I think, and pictures. He's got glue and crayons, drawing a picture of his friend and drawing a heart for her. Oh, he didn't like all of his work. Some of it's crumpled up and on the floor. But he liked this one. This one's a flower with a smiley face and his friend smiling in his new shirt and pants. And oh, I think that's Sam there with a the heart. And there's more hearts and flowers and hearts. And just what we thought. Love is designer greeting cards too. Love calls for bouquets of flowers. This fellow is visiting his grandpa. I think his grandpa's under the weather. He's in bed and he's got a book to read. He has his water glass here right beside the bed. But he's happy to see his little grandson and he's happy that he got some flowers. I think that was a nice gift to bring someone who's cooped up in his room for a while. Oh, and it must have the finest chocolates. This is our little baker friend from the kitchen. She's got her measuring cups and flowers and more batter in the bowl with little chocolate chips. She's going to give one to her mom and another gift and more smiles. I think giving gifts is fun, don't you think? Oh, there's my page stuck again. There we go. Love sounds like poetry. This young man 
He's gone to the beach with his brother, and they have surfboards stuck in the sand behind them. Their buckets are here. Maybe they're going to build sand castles later. But right now, the big brother's smiling because the little brother put cool bro into the sand with a stick. And here are two friends. This one is got, this one's got a cast, and this one is signing the cast, putting flowers and hearts on the on the uh, outside of it, just to dress it up a bit. Maybe she brought her friend this nice heart balloon. And maybe you can't see it really well, but this little boy wrote, love you, Papa, and a heart underneath. And he's smiling, and his dad's looking out the window and smiling, big smile too. So, nice pictures and words and writing in the sand. Nice messages, it's like poetry. And has the beautiful melody too. Look at this car. Everyone's singing at the top of their lungs. They look like they're having a great time. Do you sing in the car when you go for a ride with your family? It's lots of fun to make music together. Love comes in the shape of a heart. Look at these two friends. Two hands and they've drawn a heart between the two of them, just like that. Do you ever do that with your friends? And it sparkles like diamonds. This little boy's out on the lake with his dad. They have a rowboat and the night has come. And you look over toward the hills and look at this, the northern lights are sparkling and shimmering in the sky, just like diamonds. That would be a really special trip to have with your dad. And look, the little girl is at the pound and she has a tiny kitty in her lap and she's smiling and I think she's going to adopt this kitty. It's got a cage and she's giving it hugs. And this little boy has found a turtle. Ooh, I think he likes the turtle. He's smiling already. And here we've got a brand new baby at home. This little boy's giving him a little kiss on his head. And this is a special day, I think. This little girl's a little shy. She's meeting her family, but they have a card for her. Welcome to the family, sister. And she has a little teddy for the girl, and she also brought a balloon. Look at this. She looks a little shy, but I think she's going to have a lot of love in her new home. Love happens at first sight. And it needs the tightest hugs. Look, these two are having a Zoom meeting with Grandma. Grandma's got her hand out. She wants to touch the little girl and the little boy. I bet she misses them. They maybe haven't seen each other for a long time. But Grandma can't wait to get a hug from her little grandchildren. But in the meantime, at least she can see them. Love deserves to be shouted from the rooftops. Look, they're on balconies high above the street. They've got a cable car system designed for their basket of books. And this one says, sign language. And look, they're making signs here. They have the sign language book because then they know what they can say to each other in sign language. Maybe one of the children is deaf and then this way they can communicate from one balcony to the other. Would you learn to speak sign language if your friend couldn't hear you? And what have we here? We have more food on the table. Looks like that's the spaghetti that dad was making. And here is the cake stand. The little boy was filling up with cupcakes and there's the pie. These children are enjoying the sweets under the table. The cat's out here playing with the ball now. These little boys are running around and the neighbors are all talking and chatting and telling stories and enjoying their company. Here's the little girl from the hospital and her friend who brought her the flowers for her hair. And the dog, Sam, is getting hugs over here at the side of the page. 
because nothing else matters without love. And the parents must have given the children sparklers. They're drawing hearts in the night sky and they're filled with love. There's love everywhere. Look at hundreds of hearts. So love, well, it can be seen every day. It can be seen everywhere. So I really enjoyed my time with you. If you're reading this book together with someone you love, maybe you should give them a great big hug now. Bye for now. Thanks for joining me.